reporting live from Minnesota, JW Solo USA. Um, well, this is the thing. Um, update is done yesterday with the uh, with the software or firmware. So let's check the temperature that um, a lot of people are curious about for the uh, Midnight Classic 250. So now we're going to go to here and go to, let's see, I'm on the wrong screen here. Okay, let's go to temperature. Okay, temps, and we're going to push the enter. So I didn't have the, uh, the battery temperature sensor connected yet for the batteries, but, um, it's okay because um, the Outback has the temperature sensor hooked up to it. So it's a uh, 46.7, which is about 114, 114 point something uh, temperature. So if, um, for those of you who are curious about uh, the FET's temperature and overheating stuff, I don't know if this one answer your question, but if you think um, it does, well, um, this is these are the numbers for you. I hope you like them, and um, or you're pleased with them. But uh, so far so good. This is what I've done, and I just want to report live from Minnesota, JW Solar USA, and I can use my temperature gun, and still have to try it. Okay. All right, it's way just too early and uh, in the morning, um, it's 7.47 and uh, we just uh, bring in this power right now and um, uh, that's the temperature of 114.8, uh, you guys saw there and uh, I already uh, started generating uh, 240 to 200, 250 uh, watt uh, with 4 amps back to the batteries and you guys can see let's go here I can show you those are the inputs and that's the the VOC because one thing you gotta understand the more higher uh, voltage you bring in in it's gonna cause heat as well so I think that's what people are uh, uh, complain if they put this charge controller to the highest um, peak you know because especially you're running not too much uh, high not the high temperature with the higher amps coming or high 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 voltage sorry that's what I'm saying high voltage with a uh, high amperage yes you're gonna call you, you you can experience heat but like i said um heat wasn't my issue when it comes to these uh charge controllers at all because i never experienced any problem but for those of you that already experienced a problem and i'm not gonna say you guys are wrong it depends to the uh the the area where you are and what's your temperature? Like for example, if you live in somewhere in the southern part of the country, you know, that has a high temperature over 100 and something degrees, just for normal people to navigate with that, it wasn't easy. And especially, and for machines like this, they, 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 they gotta work hard. Plus the, te uh, plus the uh, voltage coming out from the solar modules as well, you know? processing all that stuff and uh, processing the amps amps in amps out voltage in voltage out right now my VOC is 178.4 and the fan just kick in okay so let's go back and check the temperature right now okay I didn't connect even the whisk bank junior on this and see we are bringing almost 250 if we go back here you can hear the fan running on the background so we're going to temps 
let's check it out so that's the temperature right there 46 46.7 so approximately over 100 and uh, 120 something 120 ish because one uh, at first was uh, 114 or something so do the math it's gonna be around 120 so the MOSFET has to process a lot of work and trust me they'll be warm as well just like anywhere else or just like it's, it's uh, modern nature so um, I just want to show you guys and this is this is the proof and the uh, I can see the turbo fan here is running I can see spinning but um, the classic is still running uh, to the touch I can use the temperature gun and try it right now it's uh, about a hundred and thirteen point something uh, degrees so for 113 the fan kicks in is doing its job so I don't think um, it is hurting the the, the the machine you know if I can touch you know it, it's warm and remember I have the, the inverter uh, very close to it and um, it's gonna generate heat from each of them working so the heat can transfer to that so I'm not gonna say anything about the the charger yet okay so let's let me show you my temperatures uh, gone here digital, digital this is my chairman infrared meter so hold and faithful I've had this for quite a long time now and uh, if you haven't got one I'll encourage you I made a video of these ones back then in the day so it's not that much expensive but um, you can able to get one and this is what it comes with um, you see exactly what it is so we're gonna try it it has um, both um, um, Celsius and Fahrenheit as you can see um, the fan stops and everything is perfect and um, but we can check it back here's my guy let's see here let me see well unfortunately I think the battery died because it has been sitting here for a long time without being used Push the thing, no power, no power, no power. I think the battery is dead. Temperature sensor or digital machine uh, is not working. So this is what it is. I don't know if I have um, a nine volt battery. Let's go check it out. I'll let you know. Back again. And I think as soon as you hit the 47.3, the fan kicks in. When I was talking to you guys before, um, I transition, and all of a sudden, um, the fan stopped. So, guys, um, this is the uh, clear representation about the one old thing about the uh, the classic. This is my readings, and this is my report. I finally found a battery. It's uh, ever ready. I know probably it's not 100% new, but let's try it and see how it works. Okay. This is where you you have to check your devices periodically to see if they're working in time when you need them. So hold the battery in. Let's test it and see. There you go. It, it comes on. So let's see. What well, this guy is telling us here, pointing my laser gun into this thing, right in the circuit board, if you can see it, right in the circuit board, 43, and it's reading 45, okay, and let's try on the corner where the fets are. 
41 and all the way across is cooler is cooler is cooler all the way down and let's go to the side let's go to the side and up and up and up and up see started going up in the 40s let's check on the fan okay let's go across waiting right inside the circuit board the 42 I don't know how you guys take this if I'm missing a spot but I'm shooting right inside the circuit board if you can see 43 44 so I got a 44 spot so let's check here there is a 45 here so it's uh, pretty accurate okay it's pretty accurate I would say you see in the 40 up here because heat rises so 42 up here in there 45 I hit a 45 spot okay oh 45 spot yeah it's, it's accurate so this ends my test I don't want this video to be too long and guys this is I'm wrapping up the video thanks for watching and I hope um, you find this information helpful and I hope you are pleased with um, the questions you guys want to know the doubt that you guys had for the classic uh, 250 live from Minnesota JW Solar USA let's see how much wattage we bring in now yes it's uh, 310 watt it's just exactly 8 o'clock okay we already made uh, 0 0.1 watt hours thank you bye bye the fan is running right now